back together. We laugh together. We bad together. We e PowerNature.com. Be right nature L coming to you. Peace and love. Greetings, greetings to all above, near and far, here and there, wherever you are, everywhere. I had just come to talk to you a little bit uh, about uh let's talk about vegan versus plant-based, okay? Because there is a lot of misconceptions, a lot of construities, contradictions, all those big old words put together about being vegan versus being plant-based. And we could even take it a step further and put vegetarian in there. Let's go ahead and debunk vegetarian first off. Vegetarian is, um, you aim more to have more veg, uh, fruit, fresh fruits and vegetables in your, you know, so-called diet. But we're going to remove that word diet and, um, replace that with lifestyle or eating style because you eat to live not to die but a stick on course <laughs> so vegetarian uh would include eating things such as fish meats red meats pork chicken eggs butter and cheese which is all animal products um then we could take it a step further and talk about what vegan more so aims to eliminate all animal products altogether. Nothing that comes with an animal. No egg, cheese, which comes from an animal. No milk, dairy, which is disgusting. And, you know, and just basically no meat at all. Chicken, no fish, none, none of that. And, um, so, the reason why we bring this up is because uh, it, it's, it's like it's being trendy to be vegan. And yet they don't understand the purpose of being so, you know, the purpose of having compassion and love and empathy and sympathy for the living beings that's upon the planet. Man, we could, this video could be so long if we go into all that is being done to the animals and how they're exploited and how they're kept on farms and bred just to be slaughtered and killed just for you to eat. And you're eating their live meat, flesh, which has spirit and soul and blood running through them. It's just disgusting. So uh, vegans aim to eliminate that in their life. And if you're a true vegan at heart, you do so because of the empathy and the compassion that you have for the living beings that are upon the planet. You don't even want to partake and have anything to do with their slaughtering, with their being bred to be killed for you to eat and consume. Now, we go ahead and take it a step further and go plant-based. Oh, man, plant-based doesn't just include eating none of the animal products. You you know, you only eat in fruits, vegetables that grow of the earth, herbs, um, nuts, seeds, grains. But you also are consciously aware of the products that you use on your body, okay? So-called deodorant, so-called soap, so-called um, uh, clothes. You know, if it's not cotton, which is the plant, grows from the earth, then, you know, you don't wear it. Um, your shoes, oh, your shoes, oh, man. People don't think about the shoes. You know, the animal was slobbered for you to wear that leather that's being made in your shoes. So, I mean, it's just so much to go to it. So, plant, uh, vegan versus plant-based is more so eliminating the trend of saying, oh, I'm vegan because I eat fruits and vegetables. But at the same time, you still allow yourself to uh, have what they call cheat days where um, you say, oh, I'm going to eat some chicken today because it's my cheat day. Or I'm going to eat some steak today because it's my cheat day. Or, you know, or you still use deodorants. Uh, which are filled with chemicals and you still um, wear leather shoes and carry a leather purse or bag or whatever it is, it, it's lacking. When doing so, you're forgetting the whole purpose of being vegan, which is for the compassion, the sympathy, and the empathy for the planet, for the, um, the animals upon the planet, for every living being that is here. We're all interconnected to one another. And when the, we allow these corporations and industries to slaughter, slaughter living beings for our consumption, we're also slaughtering ourselves because what you eat will eat you. Let's just be real. What you put into your body will also consume you from the inside out, from top to bottom. So, Whereas being plant-based is such a lifestyle because you're more consciously aware of what you're using, you're consciously aware of what you're doing, what you're saying, what you consume, what you support, 
what you allow to be in your reality all the way through and through because you have that sympathy and that compassion within you so because of that let me let me talk to you about what that is let me take me for instance okay on well, my journey um just fast forward a little bit because i won't make the story too long but once i started seeing like uh now where i live physically in the physical form uh, it's a lot of fishing going on because it's warm climb, climbing and there's water everywhere. So everybody wants to go fishing. So I'll be looking, I'm like, what in the world? Like, you know, leave the fishes alone, let them live. And there's always boats in the water. So they're just always and constantly disrupting the natural state of the planet itself. Always in the ocean. Always, you know, with your machinery. Uh, gathering the animals up in a in large consumption and then throwing away the ones that you don't want and then hurting the ones along the way like uh, manatees or uh, whales or dolphins or any other animals they may just be um, in the area freely all for your consumption all to eat all for a, a seafood restaurant or so we can ship crab legs so everyone can have crab legs on their plate. You know, of that things of, of that matter. And it's, it's, it's just really um, heartbreaking when you see it, when I see it now versus back whenever I was a consumer of such. Now I have sympathy and I'm like, oh man, leave the animals alone. I'm yelling at the fishermen and the boats from afar. And, you know, because it's just, I see it as a, on a, on a wider scale now. I see it as a whole. I see its reasoning and its purpose behind it. And it's just, um, it's just heartbreaking. So... It's more so when you move into a plant-based lifestyle, it's, it's, it's because you have that compassion and you just don't want to, if it doesn't grow from the earth naturally, and when you pluck, pluck it, if I was to pluck naturally one of these leaves off of this tree, it's going to grow back. Easily, it's just going to grow back. It, it's just meant to be that way. Yet, whenever I consume an animal which, has, which is flesh and blood and has its own soul, it's on spirit. I'm, I just consume that within my body. It doesn't naturally just grow back. I mean, it'd be reborn, you know, but it's just not right. You know, I just want to um, eliminate this trend about vegan and, you know, and, and show that it's more to it and it's more in depth and it's more of a lifestyle and it's more that is, um, there's just more to it and hopefully uh well in future videos we'll go deeper into it you know right now i just want to keep it short and sweet just doing a little talking you know and um but go more in depth into it and, and break down more of living plant-based and just making sure and being conscious look at the birdie being consciously aware of um that which we consume and what we do and the harm that we cause upon the planet you're supposed to be walking lightly so if you're consuming animals you're part of those that's um bringing corruption to the planet and that ain't walking lightly because you're part of it and you're filling your body with that crap you know filling your body with live with uh, living souls instead of live enzymes so, you know, we'll talk more about it and get deeper into plant-based and breaking it down even more and just debunking this whole vegan trend and this whole, oh, I'm vegan, I'm vegan for the weekend. <laughs> I'm vegan for the weekend. That's what they say, though, you know. <laughs> and uh, just letting it go and just getting back to, to source and getting back to nature and getting back to the way in which we are uh, meant to be in. You know, so thanks for tuning in. PowerfulNature.com. This is Be Right Nature L, baby. Check us out, and we'll have more, more uploads. And I'll uh, check out the further videos, and we'll break it down even more. We'll talk about it more. We'll be back. Have no worries. I hope I, you know, you followed me through this, but you know, I know you did. We stand together, and I don't place it about above us. Synchronicity, we came together, we made together, we stayed together, even found our way back one another. Synchronicity, we have each other, through all the others. Never